Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Bastion. Last time, uh, we went to the wilderness and got our first shard, now that Zulf has wrecked the Bastion. This time we're going to go back into the wild, I believe, but farther in, to Rothus Lagoon. Now I'm going to be bringing the pistols and the war machete, but uh, keep in mind that this is one of the, this is actually the first level in a long time where we're going to be getting a physical weapon. So let's do this. Ankle gators used to roam the wilds, and they nested at Rothus Lagoon. Many a tale folks used to scare their children straight originated here. Oh, come on, dude. There we go. And now we're gonna have to hit it one more time. All kinds of beasts but don't know up from down. Still looking about. These beasts, they don't like company. It doesn't seem like it. Oh, jeez. Get out of my life. If we had the hammer, could have made quick work of this guy, but... Not really? That's kind of not fair. Whatever, you're almost dead. And so am I. Well, good thing you dropped that. And you might miss this one if you're not looking, because this one's a little bit off to the side, but we have another ability. Only the city's brushes knew their way around the lagoon. So if you use the sneaky decoy, you become invisible for a little bit of time. Unless you roll. Okay, I did not know that. So we're going to become invisible again. And as you can see, you just walk around. Even the brushers learn to fear this place. Until you become visible again. Okay, we shouldn't have ran into this. I shouldn't have used the the invisible thing. Get over here. You, now it's your turn to die. Oh, come on. You can do better than that. There you go. Let's move on then. They used to think that ankle gators were extinct. Well, they ain't. One of them's been living in the tall grass. They called her Queen Anne. That was huge. We're going to need to fight that, probably. So, get ready. Alright, what do we have over here? Pin cushion. Some extra stuff, hopefully. Looks like just stuff to heal your life. The lagoon's got plenty of other dangers, of course. Yeah, with all the pin cushions and everything. Turns out Queen Anne got a hold of a shard. Ankle gators love shiny things. Ain't time for pecker hunting, but the kid can't resist. Gotta kill them peckers. Know what smells worse than an ankle gator's breath? The stink weed. Alright, so here we have another weapon. Also, we just completed the Gravers, which was actually destroy, a, uh, I believe it was 15 different kinds of enemies. So that stinkweed was actually the 15th kind of enemy. The brushers use their pikes to keep their distance around here. Now the kid can do the same. So the spear's a little similar to the machete, I guess. To where you can also throw it and use it as a ranged weapon. But it's a bit slower in actual fighting. Sharp sticks make Queen Anne nervous, so she backs off a bit. So from this point in the level on, keep in mind that if you go into the grass, Queen Anne will try to attack you. Alright, let's keep moving then. Also, I really like this music. Listen to this. I love it. I wonder how much damage does a power throw do? The kids got a mean throwing arm. A lot. Wow. What do we have up here? Another extra area? Yep. And something nasty. Most of those peckers are smart enough to stay out of Queen Anne's way. Seems like it. Those pin cushions been living off the ankle gator scraps. Jeez, look at all these fart clouds everywhere. Thank God for all these fruits that you can heal with. Otherwise, we might be in a sticky pickle. Dude. There we go. Queenie leads the kid into some kind of twisted trap. 
One bad step in that tall grass and he's Queen Anne's lunch. Yeah, I told you guys to stay out of the grass and then I proceeded to walk straight into the grass. He holds to get his that. ground. Seems the Queen's running out of options. Still no sign of the shard. Looks like we have another arsenal here. I'm not going to be using the sneaky decoy, no thanks. Let's see, what can we go with? Something different. We don't have an ability for the spear yet, it seems. Let's do Slinger Storm. That sounds cool. Alright, let's get a move on. The closer you get to an ankle gator's lair, the thicker the tall grass grows. Kids gotta make a run for it. That old gator's right on his tail. Those leaping lunkheads don't like Queen Anne any better than the kid. So if you have to go into the grass, you can go in it really quickly and keep on moving and Queen Anne still will not hit you. As shown. All right, keep a move on. Oh, extra path. Queenie must have scared a bunch of peggers out of hiding. Seems even stinkweeds know to stay away from the queen. Yeah, look at how far it is away. Come on. There we go. And here we have something pointy. This is actually the item that you use to upgrade the spear. We already have a couple of them already. Grab that. Just stay out of that grass as much as you can. Over here, ooh, another memento. Ankle gators don't much care for their young. That's why there ain't many around. Want to know how to find an ankle gator lair? You use a kid as bait. So this is the lair of the ankle gator. One of the only ones left, presumably. Now she's coming for him. She's got nowhere else to go. The shard sitting in plain view. All right, we got the shard. They say if you run across an ankle gator, you better keep running. So to do damage to the ankle gator, you need to briefly stand on the spot it's at and then start hitting it. But as you do more damage to the ankle gator, it's going to start... That was supposed to be aimed at the ankle gator. It's going to start moving faster. So keep that in mind. Missed it. And now he's made her mad. That's the idea. Also, I'm gonna die. Come on, I want to get rid of all the extra things around here first. So I can have an easier fight with her. And actually do that, which didn't actually do much. Rest in peace, Queen Anne. That was for the brushes. Alright, so we took down the ankle gator, Queen Anne. And we stole one of her young, but like that matters at all. Uh, we have a couple of things over here. Go ahead and kill the thing, because why not? Uh, the bird. The burb. And right there's where we started. So it all loops around. Let's get out of here. Kids done what needed to be done. Queen Anne's reign is over. We even got a crown jewel. Indeed we did, so let's put the shard into the monument. All that trouble for a single shard, but you know what? It was worth it. Alright, so now we can upgrade another area. To be honest, I don't really remember what any of these upgrades do. Hmm, what could, the ar what could an upgraded arsenal possibly do? Grants access to the Trapper Snare. A secret skill. Okay, so it actually tells you. The True Distillery grants access to potent spirits from the Private Reserve. That sounds really good. So I'm assuming the upgraded Lost and Found is still go just going to have more items. More spirits, once again. True Shrine grants access to new idols to the most elusive members of the Pantheon. And Memorial. 
more vigils. Also, we completed the Gravers. Oh, well, I was wrong then. It's not the different kinds of enemies. We still need one more for that. Whoops. Oh, well. The Gravers. They are Majestus. They seemed unstoppable. Well, at least we were able to do that before... Before we got the the spear. Let's upgrade the distillery then. Just the occasion to crack open the distillery's private reserve. Alright, so let's check out what new drinks we have. Falling Malt. Reduce damage from falling. Plus 200% damage by falling on foes. Black Rye. Plus 2 Black Tonic capacity. That doesn't sound too bad. Survive an attack that would have brought defeat. Just one attack though? Um, I'm gonna do Black Rye. Because five of each of the tonics, that sounds way too powerful for its own good. Black rye is like hot pineapple chowder on a cold day. It brings back memories. So now we can use a bunch of secret skills. Uh, let's... Should we stick with the pike? He's a spitting image of Slinger Jawson with that pike and them pistols. Before we do that, let's upgrade the pike to something better. Let's see. This faster throw reload or critical hit. To fix a brush's pike, you just need a good length of knife bark. I think we're gonna go for just crits for this one. Don't want that thing leaving your hands until you decide it's time. And for something nasty, we're going on to the fourth upgrade, which is really good. Firing rate. I don't like the attack spread though. Takes a careful touch to rattle those bones like that. Alright, so I think we are going to change back to another weapon. Let's go to the Kale Hammer. I think it might actually be the Sail Hammer, since it's Sailandia. Um, let's do Stunning Wallop, because why not? Alright, so I think that covers everything. Let's talk to Zia about the Ankle Gator egg. That Gator's a crazy gal, but so is the gal who promised to look after her. So Z is going to be taking care of the ankle gator we have here, and that adds another pet to the bastion. What does that do? Come? Oh, it follows us! Oh, that's so cool. They said Queen Anne was just a folktale. Now there's living proof she ain't. Yeah. Alright, stay here. You can just have it stay wherever. That's pretty cool. All right, I believe we're gonna have enough time for another level, so let's go ahead and do it. The next shard should be farther out there in the wild. Mmm, to be honest. Oh, oh, this one's, eh. We're gonna wait until we have more upgrades for that one, because I'm not doing that right now. All right, Point Lemaine. Somewhere inside the city's largest outpost in the wild unknown. Let's go. Know how Ceylandia became the richest city in the world. Two words. Point Lemain. If the wilds could ever be tamed, it was gonna happen right here. But now, the greatest outpost past the city line is nothing but a food show. The army's triggers once had the place on lockdown. Oh, another weapon already. Look at that. The Army Carbine. Kid might as well pick up what they left off. So with this... Blam. Just like my fighting days. Gun like that can even put the wilds in check. You can charge up a shot and shoot straight. And power shots do insane amounts of damage. So this will actually be good for these birds that keep blindsiding us all the time. And you can also shoot up close. Point Lemaine seem better days for sure, but it ain't done. Yeah, you can go for a more inaccurate shot if you just go like this. It'll still do 50 points of damage most of the time, but it'll be pretty inaccurate, so you want to make sure you're close enough. 
that gonna blow up? Oh no, it's attacking it. I thought it was flashing because it was gonna explode. Jeez. Nothing over here. Oh, no, there is indeed. A lot of fragments. Alright, let's keep moving. Whole place shudders in a fit. The grand rail of Point Le Main. Not only is it still there, it still works. Of course, it's no longer shipping hides and alloys and spices, but it can give the kid a lift. For just as long as he can stay clear of the trouble on the tracks. Oh, this guy again. I really don't like that enemy. Keeps you stuck in a spot. Can really mess you up. Grand rails all grown over with things of calamity chewed up and spat out. Things eager to take back their turf. Notice that the range also increases as you make your shot longer. Or as you charge up your shot longer, I should say. It doesn't start out at full range, it extends. So you might want to keep that in mind. You don't let so much as one of those things slip by. That's right. Well, we have two ways to go here. Young kids settled in like they own the place. All right. So here we have a lunkhead. Oh, I wouldn't know what I can do. Oh, well, I can mess up. Hold on. Let me use the LT button. Wrong attack button. There we go. That took a while. All right, let's keep moving. It takes fancy footwork on the rail. What with wallflowers, coughing fungus everywhere. What do we have done here? Just another health tonic. And over here, nothing. Let's go. I really like this weapon as like a single shot ranged weapon. Like if I were to choose a weapon that isn't like super fast firing, it would be this one, long ranged at least. But I still find the pistols to be better at doing damage over time. Even though this does let off a really powerful shot and is really good for Place taking out- closed off, but now it's split open like a rotten pineapple. And it's really good for making, for killing these plants. Can you please jump? Not much wiggle room up there near the rail. Not really. All right, you know what? Forget that. Here, come over here. There we go. Of course, the Grand Rail seen much more fight than bygone times. I didn't mean to do that. Near on 50 years ago, first shots fired in the ur Ceylonian War. All right, so if you come this way. You can grab yourself with something sharp. Which is good for me, because, of course, the machete. Let's keep a move on. Oh, jeez. And another problem is I can't, like reliably take out these birds with one shot. It doesn't kill them. It was right here that Zolf's Ur forefathers decided to mix it up. You could, of course, just counter their attacks, though. Also, mixing it up, that's a little odd. Oh, get out of here. There we go. One shot takes them out. Okay, so maybe we didn't get their sign-off on the whole Grand Rail thing. That was bad. Probably. Alright, that's not a path. Never mind then. Really? Ah, I pressed the wrong button again. Oh, jeez. The rail must have shook the earth to the bone down in those dens of theirs. Okay, I just need to get out of that situation. Oh, there's so many. This is why the gun isn't always the best option. 
because you can't kill all these enemies with the ranged weapon that you have. And you can't get too close or else you're going to die. Which I am definitely dying right now. Okay, we took him out, finally. Well, that cleared the area a bit. Oh, get out of here. Ah, oh, a lost tonic. All right, well, here's the shard then. Well, the rail won't last much longer now that the kid took the shard. It's still got one good run in store for him, though. All the rotten wood there on the rails turned it into swamp weed central. Ever tried dancing side to side while holding your breath? While shooting a genuine registered army carbine? While choking on swamp weed? While peckers trying to prick you in the eye? Tell you, it ain't fun. Those spike enemies do a lot of damage really quickly. All we can do is keep moving though. And here we go, something fancy. So I believe that is for the musket. So now we have another thing to upgrade for that. Wow, Stinkweed has a lot of HP. But then, at last, it's the end of the line. Should have seen him tiptoe around those swamp weeds in his way. Turns out he's got company up at the rail station, waiting for him. Uh, yeah, just a bit. Oh, I missed. He's planning on hitting it. Oh, you can't hit these guys with their own with their own bullets. Not just another wallflower or pin cushion, mind you. I'm dead. But that's okay, because we have two extra chances. And here we are. At first he thinks it's self. This is for you, says the man. Then wham. When the kid comes to, the man's long gone, but something else is there. The only words the kid recognizes on that parchment are for Zia. Well, what's a kid to do? Let's go back to the bastion then. Maybe Zia will know. He took the shard, he took the hit, and he took that note. That note cuts straight to the heart of things, don't it? It ain't too late to unlock the potential of this place. All right, well, we got the ma we got the shard in the monument, but I think we're going to end it off there for today. So join us next time when we give the letter to Zia and hopefully find out what it says. So I'll see you all then. Goodbye.